portable IPS 2K screen for only $33. It's not big, only 9.7 inches, but its size has its own advantages. Besides of being a portable second screen for your mini PC, portable console or any other DIY thing, it fits best to be paired with 15-inch laptop, especially MacBook. Look at this viewing angles, and overall the screen quality is great. So what's the secret of its price and is it really that good? Spoiler, it is insane, but it's cheap for a reason. Of course you cannot just go to the shop and buy it, you can only craft it with your own hands, but believe me, it's very easy. All you need to do is to find in your city iPad 3 or iPad 4 with the locked iCloud. I got my one for $12.29, or you can just look for a matrix from iPad 3 or iPad 4. Despite the fact it was made 11 years ago, its quality is high even by today's standards. When I was researching for something similar on YouTube, I only found the video of DIY Perks who used this matrix to pair with 4K screen and he said that the density of pixels of this iPad screen matches the 4K 15 inches display or something like that he said, I'm not really sure. It doesn't matter because they are close and I guess indistinguishable to the human eye. For example here is my iPad 8 from 2020 and its screen quality is more or less the same, the only difference is the brightness. It's not difficult to get the iPad screen even without special tools, so there are lots of videos in the internet, that's why we will skip this part. When you will take it out, you will have another question, and how to make a monitor from this? You will need this controller board, or another one, but about it later. I bought it for around 15 euros, but you may also find it cheaper or not cheaper, depends on where you live and other discounts at the moment you're buying. It has Type-C for power, Type-C for video and mini HDMI. If you're not going to use Type-C, you should buy an adapter for 2 or 3 euros on the same site where you will buy the board. Now you should connect the screen to this adapter which is coming with the board. Not like I am connecting it right now, the other side. It's working and for someone it will already be enough, but of course I wanted to make some sort of DIY case for it. I'm actually new to 3D printing, I don't even have my table properly calibrated and I made a mistake with my blueprints uh, twice. I could have done it all in one piece, but I guess it's fine. I could just download any design from the internet, but they will look in like this and in my opinion it's not cool. This one was more or less fine, but you may ask, uh, what, what is this? And this is the board I told you I will tell you later, so the time has come. That is another board Chinese have made. And I guess now you understand why have I chose this one instead of this one. Anyway, if you don't have a 3D printer, I guess it's not a problem to make a box from literally any material you will find, and it will even be more reliable, I guess. As a stand you can use one for tablet or phone since it's very very light and its price is also a couple of dollars. If this video will get enough attention I will try to upgrade this screen with a battery which I will of course get from an iPad I dismembered. <clears throat> I mean disassembled. Write in the comments what do you think about this screen and how would you use it. Press like, subscribe and all this ordinary stuff, but that is very important. Thank you, goodbye.